Now, let me get you the Palestinian side. We are being joined by Dr. Mustafa Bargothi. He is the member of the Palestinian Legislative Council and chairman of the Palestinian Medical Relief Society. Dr. Bargothi, thank you for your time for NDTV. Let me begin with this claim that has been made by Israeli security forces that uh, hospitals are being used by Hamas operatives to carry out their terror uh, activities. That is the reason why they are saying that there was this tunnel leading to Ranthasi uh, Hospital, uh, which has been found where uh, they used to operate and hold Israeli hostages against their will. That's the claim. Would you not say that this reduces the gravity of uh, what has been said by the Palestinians so far, that why target hospitals, why target civilian facilities? I think uh, everything they told you is absolutely incorrect. And it's another big lie from the Israeli side. They orchestrated this scene for you. So, so and, and, and anybody who has good mind will discover that this is all art, uh, fabricated. Uh, first of all, they try to confuse everybody by talking about giving you confusing messages. They say, that the, they say that the tunnel is near the hospital, but not in the hospital. And the, the, they use that to justify attacking the hospitals. Uh, the, the scenes that they have shown, I mean, any person with any objective mind will immediately discover that it is a fabricated scene. How, what would bring a diaper with the sign of World Health Organization, the WHO, with grenades in such a little small space? It's nonsense. Anybody who is objective analysis will not accept it. And what you should ask for, ask the Israelis for, is to send an independent international commission that is independent from the Israeli army that would investigate how truthful these scenes are. I don't believe them. And now, before they attack the Shifa hospital, where their people are kept without water, without food, without electricity, without fuel, where children are dying because they don't have incubators, why don't they allow an international commission to come there and investigate? Instead of continuing this massacre against Palestinian children and against Palestinian patients who have nobody to treat them at the moment because the hospital does not have electricity. I, I agree with you that, you know, it's inhuman what's happening on the ground and perhaps uh, International Commission would really reveal the truth because just like every war, it's the truth which is a big casualty. And as you say that there could be another side to it. I want to understand from you because the images that are coming are very, very disturbing of no water, electricity, and now premature babies being moved out of ICUs as there's no fuel to run it. Till when will this continue? For all the talks by the United Nations, nothing seems to be helping the situation on the ground. Dr. Bargothi. Because unfortunately, many countries in this world, uh, including and in particular the President of the United States of America and his State Secretary and the Prime Minister of Britain and many others are obstructing the resolution about immediate ceasefire, allowing the continuation of these massacres against Palestinians. Nothing, nothing in the world could justify killing 6,000 Palestinian children. Nothing can justify the fact that 3,000 Palestinians now, including 1,500 children, are under the rubble and nobody can reach them. I've just received calls from our colleagues, our medical colleagues in Gaza. They tell me that if you even try to get out of the place where they, where they are, to get some water, they will be shot at. An old man was shot at, and they, they, they couldn't get to his body. They are unable to bury the, the dead people, the victims of Israeli op oppression and Israeli shooting. It's totally unacceptable. Our headquarters is occupied now by the Israeli army. What for? A medical center. Why do they go and occupy and destroy these places? And why they bombarded the Shifa hospital six times? They bombarded the obstetric department. They bombarded the emergency department. They bombarded the pediatric area where incubators were having children in them. How could this be acceptable to the world? And by which law Israeli ministers like Smotrich stand up and say that their goal is to ethnically cleanse all Palestinians from Gaza? Is ethnic cleansing an acceptable international norm these days? And they say it frankly. 
And Netanyahu said it frankly. How could the world accept that? I, I hold the United States in particular, but also their junior partner, Britain, responsible for the continuation of these war crimes against Palestinians in Gaza. What, what about the, the Arab world? The, what about the Arab world, Dr. Bargothi? Their leaders have only verbally condemned Israel, but doing little to ensure that Israel stops this bombardment. What more should they do? I totally agree with you. The Arab countries are not doing enough, and the Arab leaders have not done what they should do, especially after Netanyahu said in his last statement that all Arab leaders should shut up. When it reaches this level of arrogance, where he humiliates all Arab leaders, they should at least respond for that. And I think what Arab leaders should do is two things. First of all, they should send a convoy consisting of members from all the 57 countries that gathered in Saudi Arabia and tell Israel that they're going to bring food and fuel and, every, and medicines to the people of Gaza and challenge Israel. And the second thing they should do, I don't know Israel would, would dare to bombard 57 representatives of 57 countries, but the second thing they should do, they should tell the United States of America and other Western governments that they will cut oil from them and that they will not buy their products if Israel does not stop this atrocity, stop the, uh, the genocide that is happening against Palestinians, and if Israel doesn't accept the All right. Dr. Bargothi, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. With that, it's a wrap from me. Thanks so much for watching.